Ryan Benton was diagnosed with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy when he was three. It is a progressive disease where the body lacks protein called dystrophin, and dystrophin helps build and maintain muscles. It took Ryan and his family 19 uh, years I mean, before they found their first glimpse of hope in fighting the disease. We always hoped it could happen, but we didn't really, you know, you couldn't wrap your head around it actually becoming reality. You know, we crossed our fingers and always prayed for something like this. But that hope meant flying to South America to visit Dr. Neil Reardon and his team at the Stem Cell Institute in Panama for treatments. There, Ryan was injected with mesenchymal stem cells that come from the umbilical cord. In Ryan's case, they secrete molecules that stimulate his muscle to grow. Dr. Reardon says although this isn't a cure, the procedure has shown promise in reversing the course of many diseases like muscular dystrophy. That's why they got the FDA's approval to bring Ryan's treatments to Wichita. To use this type of cell, it's absolutely a first for the U.S. Ryan is now 28 years old and his family says he's living proof the treatment works. Seeing where he was before the treatments and knowing how he is now, you, you wouldn't believe it. I want so badly for every parent that finds out that their kid is diagnosed with a disease like mine to just be able to go get treated for it and it be something that 20 years later the kid says to the parent, didn't I have a mustard dystrophy when I was born? And they say, yeah, you did, but we treated it. I mean, that would just be amazing to me. At this point, Ryan is the only patient in the U.S. allowed to use this experimental treatment. According to the FDA agreement, he'll receive 24 treatments in Wichita over the next three years, with hopes to get approval to continue treatment after that. Thank you for having me. My name is Ryan Benton. I'm from Wichita, Kansas. I'm here to give a brief account of my experience with being treated with adult stem cells. When I was three years old, I was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and I was given a life expectancy of late teens to early 20s. Currently, I am 28. Six years ago, at the crucial age of 22, a close friend, friend and family friend of ours, and the man whom you are all here to speak tonight, here speak tonight, Dr. Neil Reardon, he, um, he contacted us and said he had a treatment that he thought might help slow the progression of my disease. He said that he couldn't make any promises, but the thought it would be worth trying, especially at that particular point in my life. I want to note that the afternoon we got the call from Neil, a few hours prior, I had also gotten a surprise call from the local MDA office to inform me that one of my friends that I'd grown up with every year at MDA summer camp had just passed. This friend of mine was at the time the same age as I was and had the same form of muscular dy dystrophy that I had. I share this bit of the story to help illustrate just what a crucial time it was for me in my life to be treated. So at this point back in 2007, Dr. Reardon's clinic was located in Costa Rica. So after making the decision to try this wholly unfamiliar therapy, that mind you, my family nor I were really at that point familiar with at all, I made the trek across seas. We had to travel out of the States because of most of you are aware the FDA does not allow this treatment here in the States. We went three separate trips to the clinic in Costa Rica, each time for about a week's duration. We continued making this trip back to back in two or three months spurts, and after each trip we began to see almost immediate results. During the second trip we had a muscle biopsy taken to determine if my dystrophin levels had changed as a result of the stem cells. You see, when I was first diagnosed at the age of three, they did a muscle biopsy and concluded that my dystrophin levels were zero to five percent, which as many of you know is the common percentage among most males with Duchenne. The results, however, from the post stem cell biopsy revealed that my body was now producing normal dystrophin levels, which was 50 to 100 percent. So to give you a bit of a timeline, this was around the end of 2007, early 2008. And from there, we went about a year without the treatment. Within this year, we noticed a decline in strength, therefore leading us to the conclusion that the stem cells worked for about three to four months after being injected, then slowly began to deplete, leaving my body once again defenseless and susceptible to the muscle 
deterioration process. After seeing that I needed the treatments more often, than just once a year we began to try and gain access to the FDA compassionate use exemption. This exemption that allows an individual to receive treatments here in the US if they've shown progress in another country. But because of financial hardships or the difficulties in traveling are not able to continue going overseas. We tried for almost five years to gain access to the exemption and while doing so continued treatments but on a once a year basis. During these year intervals I would see the same pattern occur again and again. A major increase in muscle strength for about four months after treatment then a slow decline thereafter. The last year though with the help of Cook Medical we were finally able to obtain an FDA exemption and were granted a three-year contract that will allow me to receive treatments twice a year here in the US. Last week on September 9, 2014, I began the first set of these treatments in my home state, the same treatment for which I was previously required to travel overseas. I was treated the Tuesday before last in Wichita, Kansas at the Asthma and Allergy Specialty Clinic by Dr. Maurice Strickland and became the first patient ever to receive umbilical tissue tissue cord derived stem cells here in the US. After receiving the treatments, I tend to notice an increase in my overall range of motion almost immediately, and my workouts in the first week become less and less strenuous and exhaustive. I am able to go longer working out, and within a month's time I see the increase in strength and growth of muscle that had become weak and deteriorated. My breathing improves as does my swallowing circulation, balance, and so many other things that most people without Duchenne take for granted. Using adult stem cells, we have been able to improve my condition and with extended treatments, cease it from progressing any further. As I sit here today and think about where I am now compared to where I was almost six years ago, to where I was right after receiving the phone call informing me that yet another one of my friends from MDA camp that succumbed to muscular dystrophy. I can't help but feel anything but optimism about where my life is headed. I'm extremely grateful to Neil and the clinic that has provided this amazing therapy for me and am nothing but ecstatic to see where it is going to go beyond today. Thank you all and thank you all for having me.